Hello, everybody. My name is Nathan Sifu. And welcome to Let's Play The Master Chief Collection, Halo 4. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the game with me. So, here we go. I have just beaten Halo 3, and I'm going to move right into Halo 4. Got everything set up on Legendary just the way I like it. And... I've been eagerly awaiting the point of getting to Halo 4. I I freaking love this game, and I feel that everybody is wrong about all the Halo 4 hate. It's just, the story mode is great. I think everything that Halo that they did with Halo 4 was a logical step forward in the series. So here we go. I think that, I think the new composer is great, I think. I, I got a lot of praise for this game. Tell me about the children. Dr. Halsey. You already know everything. You kidnapped them. Children's minds are more easily accepting of indoctrination. Their bodies more adaptable to augmentation. The result was the ultimate soldier. Holy shit, he's huge. Because of our success, when the Covenant invaded, we were ready. Dr. Halsey, you're bending history for your own favor, and you know it. You developed the Spartans to crush human rebellion, not to fight the Covenant. When one human world after another fell, when my Spartans were all that stood between humanity and extinction, nobody was concerned about why they were originally built. So you feel in the end your choices were justified. My work saved the human race. Do you think the Spartans' lack of basic humanity helped? What are you after? The others before you were naval intelligence, but you... You're something else. Records show Spartans routinely exhibited mildly sociopathic tendencies. Difficulty with socialization and verbalization. The records show efficient behavior operating in hazardous situations. I supplied the tools to maintain that efficiency. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? What does John have to do with this? You want to replace him? The Master Chief is dead. His file reads, missing in action. Catherine. Spartans never die. Your mistake is seeing Spartans as military hardware. My Spartans are humanity's next step. Our destiny as a species. Do not underestimate them. But most of all, do not underestimate him. Oh. Oh, it's so awesome. I might try and figure out a way to get the Spartan Op cutscenes in the Let's Play videos somehow. Maybe just kind of shoehorn them in. Four years after the Halo event. So four years after Halo 3. I think it was after four years in real time, too. Was it she was she was a tad dramatic. Yeah, well she's a tad dramatic because she's basically under the threat of being locked away forever. <laughs>
Ooh, it's all spinny. Oh boy. Mm. <clears throat> Holy crap, the graphics are good on this. There's so much detail on her face. Wow, the detail on her is so great. Wake up, Chief. Time to wake up. I need you. on the dawn. Why did you wake me? Hang on. Bringing your systems online now. I rewrote your suit firmware while you were out. You've been busy. Activating the ship's gravity generators. Wow. Chief, look up. You need to pull the manual release. Oh. like old times ready to get back to work I thought you'd never ask you got slightly got curvier than the last game <laughs> our best bet to figure out who's boarding us is the observation deck four floors up could it be a rescue team wouldn't bet on it oh yes here we go it's so cool to go from Halo 3 to 4 in one sitting and here's a neat little easter egg Would you like to continue? Yes, continue. Frigate Pillar of Autumn discovers Forerunner Halo Installation 04 and deploys Spartan 117 to protect UNSC AI Cortana. Chief uncovers a Covenant plot to fire the weapon and sacrifices the Autumn to destroy the Halo Ring. Pursuing the Covenant flagship after an attack on Earth, Spartan 117 arrives at Halo Installation 05 to find the Covenant erupting into civil war. After preventing the Covenant from firing the ring, 117 followed them back to Earth in search of a forerunner installation that can activate all the galaxy's halos. The Covenant arrive at Earth and open a portal to the Ark, an extra-galactic forerunner installation that can fire the Halo Array. Spartan 117 unites a joint Covenant UNSC team to pursue the Covenant to the Ark, where he successfully destroys the installation and prevents the rings from being used. Was that? Oh, your laptop is your only source of... of uh warmth right now? Yeah, it is getting cold out there now. When Spartan 117 attempts to escape from the Ark aboard the UNSC Forward Unto Dawn, the slipspace portal that the ship is passing through collapses. Aboard the aft section of the Dawn, Spartan 117 is placed into cryosleep pending recovery by UNSC forces. AI Cortana to remain active as long as is technically feasible. End of service record. Oh, it just starts over. Okay. 
So yes, if you didn't uh, play Halo 1, 2, and 3, then you're all caught up now. Okay, good. Oh, this... How long was I out? Four years, seven months, ten days. Somebody should have found us by now. Oh! What's that? Sensor scan, high intensity. Doesn't match any known patterns. How close are we to the observation deck? It's directly above us. The elevator doors look sealed tight. Okay, here we go. Chief, be uh. careful! Ooh. Oh, oh shit! Might have lost pressure. Right. See, so, you know, this kind of stuff right here, this type of interaction, and you get to see, like, his hands actually in motion. Chief, watch out! I actually love this stuff. And I hope they do more of it in Halo 3. Or sorry, Halo 5, right? Of course, if this is the YouTube video, likely Halo videos are already... Halo 5 videos are already going up at the same time as this. I thought we had a truce with the Covenant. A lot can happen in four years. Either way, he's probably not alone. We should be careful. I guess what's gonna happen to this guy? Uh, get wrecked, son! Oh, shit. Oh, this feels so good! One shot. Find the override for the blast shield so we can see what we're up against. Okay, can, is there any more ammo that I can get from my pistol? Because I am almost out. Not good. Uh, I don't want to quite hit that yet. I want to see if there's more ammo somewhere. <laughs> down this side. Shit, no more ammo for my pistol. Damn it, I need this for headshots. Oh, the other day you wore shorts. That was a bad choice. The oh. These Covenant aren't outfitted like standard military. It's possible we just came across a rogue salvage ship. Or we might have stumbled into an entire Covenant fleet. Well, shit. Maybe they haven't recognized us. That's one possibility. Landing craft flanking us. Oh. Shit. Shit. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Gotcha. No, 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 no. Ooh, let's backtrack a little bit. The decompression put the room into lockdown. It'll oh, take shit. a few minutes to repressurize. Shit, I might have to get my assault rifle back because. Oh, my pistol. Oh, no. Okay, where'd my assault rifle go? Wait, what was... Oh, I just picked up more pistol ammo somehow. Nice. Oh. Headshot! Gotcha!
Those one shots feel good. Mm. Mm. Just we freaking wrecked all those guys. That was wicked. We've got bigger problems. We've got a cruiser on an intercept course. Oh, Head here's the, the other pistol ammo. Didn't the ship's sensors say we still had weapon systems online? Yes, but since the ship was torn in half, we can't access the weapon stations. We'll have to fire them manually from the outer hull. Wait. Oh, okay, it's an elevator. <laughs> okay. Oh, good game. That was fun. And I hope you had as much fun watching. If you liked what you saw, then comment, subscribe, like, and of course share this video on your favorite social network. If you'd like to catch me on Twitch, I occasionally play, you can find me in the description down below. That is it for today's episode. I will see you in the next game. This is gonna be bad. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god.